Well, if you saw my last video, I had a bad battery. Uh, so I have gone now and I've replaced this battery. I have a brand new L16 uh, XC battery with diamond plate technology, uh, just like the other five. Um, now, this battery is brand new. Uh, the battery you see above the brand new battery is about three years old. These two batteries over here on the right are about three years old. And these two batteries right here are about a year and a half old. Now, there's a lot of talk, and I know you're not really supposed to mix batteries uh, that are not more than, say, six months apart. But in an effort not to have to, to buy six new batteries, I just wanted to replace this one. And I've done all of my, my testing, and everything does look good. Uh, ideally, you want to replace your battery bank at the same time, but sometimes that's just not economically feasible. I also took this opportunity to rebuild my interconnect cables and uh, both the interconnects here for the uh, tying these in series, all three bank, all three strings, as well as the the parallel cables that. Uh, that tie the three strings into, together into one bank. So uh, that's all cleaned up. They're all the same size now. Now I'm using two gauge wire for my interconnects uh, and that's plenty because I have such short runs here. The series interconnects that creates a 12 volt string that you see right there. The wire is seven, uh, seven inches long and then another inch for each of the, of the uh, terminal lugs and then the parallel interconnects that con connects the strings together both the the negative side and the positive side those are 13 inches so with these interconnects being so short there's no need to use zero gauge wire as you see I've used here with the uh, inverter cables going from the battery up to the inverter shelves those are six feet long so I decided to go with zero gauge wire there now making your battery interconnect cables custom to fit is really easy. I bought some two gauge wiring, copper wire, some two gauge copper battery lugs, and then you'll need some, uh, some channel locks, a hammer, and some, uh, some black tape. Simply put the, put the uh, battery lug on like that. Take your channel locks and crimp it. I'm not going to do this one because I'm going to save this one. I've already made mine so far. Uh, but just crimp that there and then take the hammer, put it on the ground and beat it down. And of course put your tape on there. Now when I added this new L16 here, the first thing I did was to, to, to put the uh, series interconnect here to, to build this 12 volt string and I went ahead and charged that all the way up because I already had the other four over here uh, ch charged. So I brought these up to that level and then put everything back together and then I put a small trickle charge on it for uh, a couple of hours just to kind of bring the bank into unison. Now there's one last thing that I'd like to do to make sure that these batteries are, are going to perform the way I want them to and that is to take my hydrometer and to do a specific gravity test on each and every cell I have here. All right, first we're going to check the specific gravity on this three-year-old battery, which is in series with the new battery, creating the first 12-volt bank uh, string. As you can see there, that is about, I have to get it straight up and down, but that is about 1.275, which is very good for a three-year-old battery. <coughs> and let's check this second cell. And that one's reading about 1.280, 1.285 perhaps. It's kind of hard for me to show this on the camera because 
you have to have this thing perfectly level to get a correct reading. Let's go back and check this one one more time. I think it's probably a little higher than 1.275. Let's look at it again here. Yeah. Okay. And the far cell there is about 1.285. That's very good. And just as a reference, let's have a look at the new battery. We'll just check this first cell very quickly and see what it looks like. And that's right on 1.3, so that's very good. So that's uh, four cells down and 14 cells to go. Well, I've now checked all 18 cells in my L16 batteries and all of them checked out good. Uh, they read bet somewhere between 1.275 and 1.8, excuse me, 1.285. As you can see right here, the kind of towards the bottom of good, or a third of the way up good is, is 1.275 and that, that matches the chart that I have in my documentation. So, you know, although it's not ideal to take a brand new battery and add it to a bank with, with batteries that are not new, uh, sometimes it's the only economical option and as I've shown here both with my multimeter readings and with this spe specific gravity test from the hydrometer, um, my batteries, the other five, are operating perfectly normally and I think they're going to work well with this new battery. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.